We are here, we are here, we are here on this amazing day. Okay, everyone, this is Cam Jones, FX Daily Analysis. Disclaimer, I am not a professional. Please watch these videos at your own risk. These videos are for entertainment purposes only. Thank you. Friends and family on Discord and Telegram. Families and friends will prosper. Let's pick up for business. Okay, guys, we are marking up USDJPY. So the market started off back in 93. So if you think of imaginary line coming up from the bottom here, coming up, so that would be the first leg, second leg, third leg. We got that push down. So right here would be a, a level of resistance, which would be like the roof. We have a level of support, which would be the floor. And then imaginary leg came up, first leg, second leg, third leg, fourth leg. Okay, so we got that double top, showing that the market is not able to break the resistance. So we got that breakdown here, it broke through support, it came back to retest support, it dropped down again. We have another level here. From there, the market bounced around in the support, came out of it, and then broke right back down through the support. It went into a area of lower lows. There's also a pattern here. Okay, so the pattern is, if this is the morning star, so the morning star is basically a indecisive candle. So actually it's two morning stars down here. So it's two dojis. Normally it's one. So it's this one time it's two. So we see do two dojis. So the market shows that it pushed down into the support. We see that long wick. So the long wick shows that the market is losing momentum. So the market may turn around. So the next candle was a doji, which is a morning star. And we had another morning star right behind it. Two dojis. Dojis consist of indecisive, meaning the market don't know what it's going to do up, down, and sideways. And we definitely got to confirm up right here with this bullish candle. It closed out above the dojis and the previous red candle. So it showed that the market can be strong enough to go up. And exactly what it did. The market was strong enough to go up. Okay, so once the market went up, it went back into previous areas of resistance. It actually broke the resistance. Okay, there's no retest. So it's probably some type of retest in here because retest always happens. It could be in a lower time frame. But in this time frame, it did not happen. The market pushed up. It broke an area of resistance. Came back to retest it. Came out of it. Retest something right here in this level. Came up higher. Came back to retest the support line and created and went to new areas of higher highs. So once the market created went to new areas higher highs, we see some we see like two long wicks right here, railroad tracks. When you start seeing long wicks and railroad tracks, the long wicks is just identifying the market did probably is going to lose momentum. So with this one here, we didn't think, get the full clarification. They just showed the market was a doji. So the doji was meaning indecisive. So the market didn't know it was going to go up, down, and sideways. Sideways. We did get one more push to the top. Got the railroad tracks the way down. The, the wick showing that the market lo losing momentum. So it's going to come down. That's exactly what it did. So the market returned back to previous areas of support. The market broke through about two layers. Came back to retest the re area resistance created enough momentum in this area to push down again. So once the market got here, it went to, basically this is previous levels of where the market started off at, so it returned back where it was. So either go, it's, so this is like a midpoint, so either the market is going to go to higher highs, try to return back to higher highs, or head back down to lower lows. There's also a pattern here, so I'm going to demonstrate what I see. There's a double bottom, first leg, second leg, third leg, fourth leg, and that's a retest right here. And then the market created enough momentum for that full push up to break through the resistance, not once, but twice. There's also another pattern here. There's another double bottom. So it just shows the market may do another push. I got a pattern. First leg, second leg, third leg, um, fourth leg. So I don't see a retest here, but the retest could be in a lower time frame. The retest always happens, okay? Um, so once we got that push up, it broke the resistance, created new areas of higher highs. The market probably tried to return back to previous area high highs. Wasn't able to happen, actually shorted itself. Okay, big old gap between 
the highest highs and where price action at now where we at. From there, the market was able to break the resistance. It came back down into it. Um, right here, it looked like the market was trying to do a double bottom and then shoot up, but it did not happen. It ended up going down. So we look like we had one push up to the top, and the market dropped. It's almost like a single top. So if the market was going to shoot up, the market looked like it was going to do this first leg. And at the same time, the market did return um, to previous areas of support and resistance. So it looked like it was, it was trying to mirror this area here. So this er this area looked like it was trying to mirror this area, but it didn't happen. Here we go. First leg, second leg, third leg, fourth leg, okay? And then it's supposed to have been a breakout, but it didn't. Actually, the retest happened way shorter than it was supposed to be due. And the market went back down, okay? Look like it's trying to return back to areas of support. So let's take a look at what's going on. Also in this area, there's also a pattern. So the pattern created that push up, but it wasn't enough momentum to drop back down. So this area is a pattern right here. We have a double bottom. So after the double bottom, we see a retest. The market pushes up, and that did happen. First leg, second leg, third leg, fourth leg, double bottom. It goes to retest. So once the retest happened here, full confirmation of retest as well. So let me go back. So this doji right here with this long wick showing that the market is losing momentum and you got the same clarification on this side with these wicks coming down. So when you start seeing these, these areas getting wicky, it's showing that the market may not break. And that's exactly what it did. Didn't do it. Didn't break. It went into the support, created enough momentum for another push to the top. Went to new areas, or previous areas of resistance, created enough momentum. Wasn't didn't have enough momentum to grow back up to higher highs. So basically, we can see that kind of see that downtrend that's trying to trying to form here. Okay. So once the market wasn't able to break, once the market wasn't able to break, it went back into previous areas of support and resistance, and then the market went into uh, lower lows. And it's the lowest I think the market has, has ever been. No, actually, the market has returned back to the lower lows from close to um, previous years of 1995, where the market, some few years after it started off, two years after the market started off, I think it started off in 93, if I'm correct. So basically, the market came back down to lower lows. So once the market come back to lower lows, it's either going to break down and go and create new lower lows, or we get that push up back to the top. So the market try to return back to higher highs. So this was a pattern here. So I'm gonna demonstrate when I see double bottom, first leg, second leg, third leg, fourth leg. Very clear right here. Got the retest, came back to retest previous area support here. So once we got that retest, we knew that the market may shoot up. We got the confirmation with the green bullish candle that engulfed the bearish candle, which is look like a doji. So basically, when the market, let me erase this. So the market, when it when it went for that retest, the last one, two, two candles was a doji. So once you see these dojis, the market was indecisive. So all you had to do was just wait in this area here to see that engulfing pattern for the bulls or the bears. But the bulls took place, which is the green candle, closed out above the previous red two dojis. And it's showing that the market may create momentum and shoot up. And that's exactly what it did, the market went to previous areas of higher highs actually when it actually went it actually returned back to areas of higher highs here wasn't able to break I see a pattern so I'm gonna demonstrate what I see double top first leg second leg third leg and with that push down I don't see a I don't see a retest so the retest could be within these wicks in a lower time frame it did happen though in a lower time frame we just can't see it here from there, the market returned back to the areas of support. Actually went back into creating enough momentum. There's also a pattern here. We have the bullish engulfing pattern. So this green candle engulfed the red one, showing that the market may go up, closed out, and guess what? The market did go up. Got a big push, big green, bullish green candle here. So a big, huge push on this time frame. The next candle was another bullish candle. Now, once you start seeing these wicks, may show that the market may be coming down. We got the railroad tracks that identified the market was coming down. 
Okay, and then we got that push right back down, came back to retest previous areas of resistance, push down again to support, came back to retest previous areas of resistance to a T, right here, to a T. Okay, wasn't able to break, came back down to support, tried to come back up to resistance, hit the halfway mark, created enough momentum, also got the bearish railroad track, looked like closed below um, two dojis and a bearish candle, so that's about three candles, and the market was creating enough momentum for that drop. But when it dropped, see, see, so let me go back. So this area here, all this here, and you see all these wicks that's hanging around here with these push downs, wick, 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 all wicky, all this wicky is all wicky right here. So when you start seeing wickiness in this area, it's showing that the market may be turning around. It's actually on both sides, the bottom half and the top half. Okay, so basically the market almost looked like it was trying to put itself in a range within this area here, but it broke the support. So once the area broke the support, that's when we started getting continuation of more red uh, wick, long wicks, actually dojis as well. So the market is indecisive, so the market was going to do a turnaround at the support line or below the support line which would have been resistance retested it came back down went back to previous areas low lows once again market closed out with a got the bullish candle that's engulfed the red bearish candle showing that the market may go up closed out sure did market went back up okay we got three long pushes to the top now we got a doji doji stands for indecisive now we don't know what the market's going to do Okay, let's clear our screen. So what we're gonna work on next, we're gonna work our trend line. By figuring out our trend line, we're gonna head back to price action. And we was at price action, we did identify that the market may be <clears throat> going up because we did catch some wicks at the bottom. And also, besides the wicks, we also see this three red bullish candle push. So if we grab our trend line, and we'll place it somewhere, gotta put an imaginary area, so let's put it right here, and then pull up. So we're looking price to try to, let me see, look like price is trying to break. So it actually broke this area here. Price broke this area here. Now price is trying to head to this area here. Let's bring that up a little further. If you want to drop it one more, bring it up one more level, that's fine too. Let's do that. Okay. So once we create our trend line, we got to figure out what's going on in the market. So we're going to create some SR lines. By creating SR lines, we are going to, we're going to head to price action, look over to the left, look at to see where it's going to try to break. So price looks like it's trying to break this area here. Okay, at the same time, this area do look like a huge consolidation, so keep that in mind. So we may see something on the lower time frames. Okay, so this, this is where price at the price break down to the next level. How far would it go? Probably about right here. Okay, maybe we can tighten that up a little more. I see something here. So we actually have a well, I grabbed this peak here, but actually there's an inverted peak here, right in this area. I'll grab. Okay, so we got that resistance we got the support and let's go one more level up because I feel like the market may go up could be an uptrend and if not if it turns around we'll just go back and figure it out so if I take a look here that could be one another level okay so we are looking for price inside here so we're gonna do is gonna go down to a lower time frame we are going to look for more SR lines we are going to do a top-down analysis. Okay, we are looking for peaks and inverted peaks. So here we go. We have a we have a few peaks here on the same level. Well respected here with this bullish candle. Also, we have another level here. We have another level here, it looks like. So it's something, something's going on in that level. Okay, if we gotta add some more, we have a another area of a 
inverted peak here and we also have a okay I did find it I couldn't find it on this side that was a mistake so I couldn't find it on this side so I found it here so I was looking in between here for that other peak I actually found it right here for that peak it's pretty tight so let me see yes it actually landed to a T it's pretty tight so sometimes I have the SR lines that's extremely closer that means the market may have an issue breaking through it and it may not or it may just be something going on in, in a lower time frame can't confirm it just yet so just let you guys know how we trade this we're going to trade the breakout retest pattern for example if we are price action, price is moving to our SR line, we will not take entry at the SR line. We wait for price to break. Once price break, we wait for it to return. Then we'll start looking for entry. Once we find an entry for the buy position, for the up, we'll take it up to the next level. And that'll be our take profit, TP. Okay, once again, we will not take entry here. We will wait for the market to break out. Okay, come back and return. We'll start searching for entry. Once we search for entry, we will confirm the entry and take it to the next level. Okay, for the take profit, TP, which will be right here at the resistance line. Okay. So let's head back over to our price action. Let's see what's going on. So on the monthly time frame, the last candle was a doji. Okay. Uh, it had a big push up from the bottom. Okay, when we're on a weekly time frame, we see the same thing. We see another doji. We did mark up our SR lines. Okay, so now we got to figure out what's going on. Big push, retest, big push, retest. Now something going to go in this area. So what we're going to do is going to grab our rectangle. We're going to go to this highest high of this second candle here. We're going to grab that wick. We're going to bring it all the way down to that bottom of that candle. Okay, so whatever's going to go happen in this area. It's going to identify itself here or in a lower time frame. So let's see if we see anything. Okay, cool. So I do not see a pattern. I actually don't even see any type of trade just yet. So when you don't see anything, the market is just a waiting game. Just have your patience. Just wait until we can figure out what's going on. But definitely there's nothing going on just yet. Or at least I don't see it. If you guys do, you know, you know, you guys know what to do. But if I don't see it, ain't no need to rush to get in. Just wait for the market to do what it do. So what the market did, it came from a lower low area here. Okay. The market broke this area lower low. Okay. And it went to areas of higher highs. Okay. The market wasn't able to break through. So it's having trouble here. It actually consolidated. You got a doji. So we see doji showing that market may drop down. Actually got two dojis back to mark, back to back. Then we got that bearish candle that did drop down, closed above one, two, three previous candles. Okay? And the halfway mark of a fourth candle, showing that the market may drop. So it did come down a little bit, but at the end of the day, we are in an uptrend, so our uptrend will be respected. Okay, so respect our up, for us to respect our uptrend a little more, what we can do is we can move our SR line over. Okay, or you can keep it there. We already know we're in the uptrend, but if you want to move it over, just have a look what's going on. So as we just moved it over, price pushed up. It probably consolidate here, do what it do, and we'll catch that break up. Um, in this area if it respects our um, trend line if it doesn't then it can break through our trend line break through our support and actually break through our rectangle and create new levels of lower lows if we start seeing that then we know that the market did turn around and is headed for a downtrend okay so on this time frame right here for UJ there is no trade I don't see anything in this time frame so it would just be a waiting game so the market could do a double top it could do a double bottom it can do a you know any type of pattern but you just gotta wait for the pattern to identify itself in this area you can do something like this you can play around bounce back and forth about four or five triple bottoms then shoot up it could do a double top come back down to it could do a double top one two three not break come back down to the trend line respected and work its way back up but whatever the market is gonna do it's gonna identify itself in this time frame Okay, for you guys to find out what goes on this 
in this rectangle, what you guys are gonna go do is go to Google. You guys would type in Forex Pattern Cheat Sheets. That's Forex Pattern Cheat Sheets. And you'll just identify in the images of what you see. So when you see something in the images that look like a pattern that you just took or something that's coming or something you went and made it, that may come, then you just identify it and then take it for the trade. But at the end of the day, it's still you still wait for the pattern to do what it do and then you feel comfortable and you take it. Okay? So if we had to go head down a time frame one more time, let's take a look at the, if we see a pattern. Okay, I see, I see something. I see like I see this push up here. It came back down. Boom. Pushed up again. Returned back to previous areas of resistance. Right here, wasn't able to break, and the market came back down again. So basically, what this looks like, it could be a triple top. But the angle is different. So instead of us getting three pointy triangles to the top like this, and the market came down, it may come up for a fourth, and the fourth one may be a breakout. We didn't get that. It was different this time. So what we did got one push up from the top, and we got like two, um, I'll say, ups, uh, two ends. So, okay, so we got two ends side by side, or an M. That's exactly look like an M. Yeah, double top is an M. You know, but with this being right here, with this um, long peak, I just call it a triple top instead because at the end of the day, the market did attempt to break out a um, respected resistance line, not once, not twice, not three times. And then when you go to lower time frame, definitely going to be playing around bouncing in there. Okay? So, right now, the market is no trade. It looks like the market may turn, return back to high highs. If it breaks this SR line, so if it comes in here, retest this, okay? If it breaks out the resistance, we wait for it to come back, we look for entry, we take it to the next TP. If not, you just take it to the high high of the rectangle, okay? Which would be amazing trade. If we did see this trade, which we don't see the trade, we would grab our long position, for example. So we're looking for price to do its thing on this trend line. We'll press it on. And then we'll take it to our next um, TP, which will give us a total of 37 pips. And if we just pull back for our stop loss, it may be like a 1.1 ratio. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, a little more than one. I probably will put it here. But there's a chance that, I'll probably just put it to my SR line for right now, but there's a chance that what the market can do is it can break up, come back down, hit our top stop loss, bounce back and forth sideways or consolidate and go back to previous high highs. Okay. So if we did see a trade like this in the move after we see the pattern and the identification on the Forex pattern cheat sheets, we would be looking at a total of 37 pips on the top to the to the way up for the take profit TP and the way down we're looking for the stop loss which would be the red zone right in this area which would be the SL and that would be a total of 25 so 37 to the high 27 25 to the low is almost a one to one ratio so it's an amazing trade okay everyone this is Cam Jones FX Analysis. Thank you for watching and thank you for your attention.